Hey guys, how are you today? All right, we're gonna do a book review, and no, we're not reviewing my book, <laughs> but it, it it does play into this a little bit. We'll get into that in a minute. But for those of you who don't know, I did write a book. Uh, this is it. Um, it is a journaling workbook, and it is a book that I hope. Um, helps you figure out if you want to have more creativity in your life and if you do how you can go about doing that um, at least indirectly um, the whole book is filled with narratives on one side and a workspace on the other side in which I usually ask you one or two questions and there's space for you to actually work on those questions on that page now this is the copy that you can buy from me in my Etsy shop um, it's signed um, you can also get my book on Amazon and um, you can literally just if you go to the Amazon search engine and type my name Gina Bronzini Aarons it should come up if you also type creativity and self-expression that the book should still come up it's available on your Kindle it's all of, also available in paperback I do recommend if you're are gonna work in the book when you get your paperback copy take it over to your local art supply um, art supply office supply store like Staples or Office Depot, have them chop the spine off and have them put a spiral binding on it because then you'll be able to open it flat and work on your pages nicely. Okay, that being said, once you've worked your way through my book and you've figured out that yes, you do indeed want creativity in your life and you want to make it part of your regular routine and your regular life, and I hope that my book helps you get to that point and figure that out and hopefully helps get you down the road and figuring out how you can do that. But once you read my book and you work through my book, I found a book that you should follow it up with. I love this book. It is by Twyla Tharp. She is a dancer and a choreographer and it's called The Creative Habit, Learn It and Use It for Life. It is a fabulous book. It's so fabulous, I was taking notes last night. That's how you know it's a great book. Um, <coughs> and I'm having issues, of course, with my asthma this morning, so sorry. Um, right in, I wanna say, the first, was it the first page? The first section, definitely. I forget where I wrote it down from. But it was here in the first part somewhere. Here. It was on page 10. So you're not too far in the book. And on page 10, she hits you right between the eyeballs. And it says, everything is raw material. Everything is relevant. Everything is usable. Everything feeds into my creativity. Isn't that a true enough statement? If you're a cr true creative, though... Every one of those statements should resonate with you. Oh my God, they definitely did with me. Um, the whole book is filled with things like that. A little farther in the book, here's another quote from it. It says, um, she talks about periods uh, with no distractions to creativity. Um, there's a whole section on distractions. And I was reading the, I was reading the section and I am... Let's see. I don't know what section it was now because I just wrote that. I just made notes. I told you guys already that. Um, anyway, I wrote this down and I was just making notes because I read, I've read a number of books. I have anxiety disorder in case those of you who don't know that. Um, I have anxiety disorder and I've read a number of books on, ang on anxiety disorder. And also, my therapist, have uh, they all recommend the same thing, that you should try to, it's helpful to your anxiety, to just unplug. Just disassociate, unplug, turn the devices off, turn the music off, turn the TV off, and just, just yeah, silence things. Silencing the physical noise around you helps silence the noise and anxiety in your head. She talks about how that's true with creativity also, to just silence the distractions. Some people work well with just distractions, but a lot of us don't, and just silencing them, that's okay to do. Um, creating intentional periods where there's no distractions. Maybe if you can, even just taking a week, and she talks about just going somewhere where there's you know, no electronic devices and no music and no telephones and no nothing, and just, I, that sounds, I like that idea. That sounds good to me. I don't, well... The no telephone, I would like to just like put it away in case of emergency, but not have ready access to it. That would be handy. But 
yeah, if, as long as everybody's safe, I like the idea a lot. Um, here's another one. What is the one tool that feeds your creativity and is so essential that without it you feel naked and unprepared? Isn't that a great question? I wasn't sure how to answer that. She also has a um, creative auto, blah, 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 creative autobiography um, questionnaire in here that's interesting to fill out. And she also fills it out later on in the book and here, and she shares with you her answers. Um, so that's an interesting thing to work through. Um, before you can think out of the box, you have to start with a box. Isn't that the truth? I'm always telling uh, people who private message me, you know, how do I get better at drawing faces or doing this or doing that? There's no shortcut. You have to just practice. And, and she's right. Before you can think outside the box, you have to work inside the box and you have to have a box. So, oh my gosh, the whole book was like that for me. Um, I have a couple more here. There's planning and over planning. You never want the planning to inhibit the natural evolution of your work. This is also something I've talked about many, many times um, in regards to teaching. I don't mind having a loose guide for, say, in, my, in the My Year program. This book review is for the My Year 2017 program. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, we try to give loose guidelines to the teachers, but I definitely don't want to be too specific because I really want to encourage them to go with their natural creative flow wherever that may lead them. I tend to work best organically. I don't mind having a rough direction, and frequently I have a rough idea or a rough direction, but I don't plan it out too much because if I plan it out too much, then it just stifles my creativity. She actually st talks about that in this book. I was, I just, the whole book I had bells going off in my head. Ding, 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 ding. Um, there's a whole chapter in the back, uh, page 136. I marked the page number now because there was just too much to make notes about. Page 136, how to be lucky. Be generous. Don't use that word lightly. Generosity is luck going in the opposite direction away from you. If you're generous to someone, if you do something to help him out, you are in effect making him lucky. This is important. It's like inviting yourself into a community of good fortune. She goes on like that for almost two whole pages. If you do nothing else, pick up this book, borrow it from the library, read that chapter. Oh my gosh, I can't recommend this enough. Uh, like I said earlier, this book review is for the My Year 2017 Facebook group, and um, this is for the month of September. I should have t said that right at the beginning of the video, but I was so excited about the book. Um, if you're not part of that group and you want to see what other books we re re reviewed, um, you can join. The link is in the video, in video description down below, along with um, a link to a, a page that has all of my internet links on it. Social media links, website links, store links, everything. You can click on the one and get them all. Um, my happy mail address is down there and all that stuff. So please go to the video description. Uh, I Look up this, this book by Twyla Tharp. Um, if you're on a limited budget, go to your library. I bet they have it. Uh, if your library is like mine, they probably have a website connected to all your local libraries. And if they don't have it at your, the one closest to your house, they can get it from another library. And then when it comes to your local one, hold it for you. Mine does that all the time. Anyway, I do recommend the book. It's a fabulous book. And I am definitely going to be adding it to my permanent library. I can't even tell you. And I'll probably be reading it again. I did download it on my Kindle because I can guarantee you it's going to be one of those things that when I'm feeling down and out about the art and down and out about why I'm doing this as a creative hobby, as a business, what am I doing? I made the wrong decision. This is going to be a book that I'm going to go back to to refresh my creative soul and reaffirm why I'm doing what I'm doing. It is a really good follow-up to the book I wrote. These two books work very well together. If you have this one, you've liked this one, you're going to love this one. Um, and if you have this one and love this one, you should think about getting my book. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, help a starving artist out. Anyway, um, I can't say enough good things about this book, so I will be adding it to my book list in my journal this month. That's it for today. Check out the video description like I mentioned. Don't forget to give this video a like. Please share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, that's it. The most important thing is to go out and have a great day. 
do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.